Welcome to the warm-up exercise for the YMI podcast called The Fantasy Restaurant. In here, my guests get to pick their favorite drink, appetizer, main side, and dessert. Anything goes. Aaron picks an international meal, perhaps a purist at heart. It kind of feels like he is. You'll see threads of that through the uh, podcast as well. But he still finds a way to cheat a bit here and there. So I hope you enjoy this meal with Aaron. Uh, Aaron, thank you for joining me in the Fantasy Restaurant today. It is my pleasure to be joining you, Greg. Excellent, excellent. Well, the Fantasy Restaurant is just that. It's a fantasy, so it is comprised of whatever you want it to be. This meal doesn't have to have any rhyme or reason. It only has to make sense in your head. I don't care how you pair it. So this could be stuff from your say your childhood, something your grandma or your mom used to make. This could be something you cook in your own kitchen. This could be something from your favorite restaurant or... I mean, your favorite fantasy novel or movie. I like, it doesn't have to exist anywhere in the world except for in your head. So I'm going to start you at the start. What are you going to have to drink in the fantasy restaurant? At the fantasy restaurant? I guess it depends on what uh, what the occasion is. I am a very much, I'm a, I, I will always take water. Um, and if I guess we were at a very fancy restaurant and they're clarifying if it's you know they're trying to sneak a a bottle onto the tab i suppose i suppose we could be talked into a some sort of a, a pellegrino or or perrier you know something sparkly i suppose for, yeah for really going for it still or sparkling do you want bubbles um, in there you're a you're a bubbles kind of guy uh you know it feels fa- something about mineral water just feels fancy I, I don't think it really matters i i don't normally drink it although at, at home um, the, there are there are Lacroix in the fridge, and every so often I'll indulge myself, or even a- after the show I've got some. <laughs> in the fridge. I try to I try not to drink too much alcohol. If I'm gonna have alcohol, it's 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 a special occasion. I feel like I like how you said I've got some Lacroix in the fridge, and I'll indulge myself. Like Lacroix is an indulgent, like <laughs> like a decadent just, decision. Well, there's something about I mean, like when you <laughs> crack it open, I now have I've created waste as opposed to if I just fill up <laughs> a glass of water, I didn't waste, a, you know, the can and and I don't know. Then I also I have to go shopping now to replace said yeah. uh, can. At some point, you're gonna run out, and I got that's just more things to carry <laughs> home, and so I'm just trying to I, make life easier in some way. Did I just lose the the video? <laughs> yeah, just yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, this is, this is uh, me being technically challenged. Uh, let me see if I can just skip to a, let me just do the camera, let me do the camera on the computer. That might be easier. Okay. We're just going to do the computer's camera and then I've got the, the better mic. I think we'll just, we'll, we'll split the difference. Cool. Sounds like a good compromise to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we've got, uh, we've got our drink. Uh, we're going to go for next. We hit the appetizer portion of the meal where I tend to feel more adventurous. I, I, I hesitate to say that because somebody uh, felt called out. They're like, man, I just wanted something boring. Um, but this is entirely up to you. What do you what do you uh, do as far as appetizers go? Um, so funny. I was going to say it depends on the restaurant, but apparently this is a, all, a, all no holds barred. Uh, That's right. It's every restaurant. Oh man, what would I do for an appetizer? Mm. I don't get uh, get. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm being I'm being I've, I'm such a difficult person. If I'm out with other people, I kind of try to defer to other people. Uh, I'm trying to think what would be on a on a menu where I, you know, I guess if I, if it was the occasion, you know, maybe get a salad or a soup. Um, not yet. Yeah, I'm probably not a very adventurous person. I mean, I like trying stuff, but it, it seems like. I'm I'm really go I'm gearing up for like one big course. I mean, like in my I head, so. yeah. I'm feeling like I'm getting a sushi dinner, and I'm just like I just want to get uh... all the sushi. To me, I'm like I don't want to. I don't need to 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 segment it out. I just kind of look at it as um, <laughs> I'm just gonna get all the sushi. Just do like you want one, do you want every one... portion brought at the same time? Is that how you want it? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm good with that. It's, okay. Uh, I'm I, I'm I'm even the kind of person like if I'm cooking like the way that I don't cook much but if I do, it's kind of like a I'm just gonna put it all into one pot, and it's just I'm just gonna stir it until <laughs> it seems edible. 
And uh, <laughs> so it's like I, I shouldn't cook for anybody. Nobody sh- like I'm, I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm I'll even just eat I'll eat tuna fish out of a can like a kitty and <laughs> have no guilt or shame. I it, it's yeah. <laughs> Is it weird that when you said eat it out of a can like a kitty, I imagine you like in a pie eating contest with your hands behind your back just. Oh, eating man. out of the can is that, is um, that what, we're, what we're talking about shoot i don't know if i only because of the sharp edges of the metal can oh, i don't know if i've actually enough. done that before yeah I, I i i would though i mean i wouldn't put anything past me i i there's plenty of dark holes when it comes to like things i've done for food i'm sure <laughs> okay well uh normally i have also this kind of bread slash soup slash salad oh, they're, they're, portion so in I've, there i've, I've but I mean, if it's a salad, I'd say like a good arugula salad. If you arugula. like a good arugula salad, um, you know, if it's going to be bread, I just hope it's like they baked it there. It's hot. Um, I've been to restaurants where I almost want to tell them, like, you know what? You should just don't even like I'm like this. This bread, like it's not you didn't bake it. It's stale. It's cold. I'm like, <laughs> honestly, it would have been a better look just to not serve bread. Like you'd be better off having somebody be a little upset they didn't get bread than getting that bread. All right. Um, so but, what uh, uh, what constitutes the perfect bread? You already said hot, <laughs> so fresh baked. Is it like soft inside, <laughs> chewy outside? Do you like yeah, a hard yeah. crust? Definitely should be soft on the inside. I mean, a good challah bread, like egg bread, you know, that is pretty much, uh, can't go wrong with that. I mean, that is, it's kind of got the, it's still soft on the inside, but it's kind of, you know, that golden outside and then just soft on the inside. You know, I, I used to, as a kid love just like rolling, taking the inside and just rolling it into a ball. <laughs> um and then eating just it almost was basically dough. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think so, every pretty much every kid did that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But, All right. So are you eating this with honey butter? Are you doing it with like unsalted butter, salted ooh. butter? Like what do you what are you pairing it with, brother? Butters, yeah, if they just put out some butter, butter's good. Uh if I'm with with my dad, my dad loves asking for excessive olive oil. Um so like I mean a good Italian restaurant that has like, you know, good bread that you can dip with olive oil um and maybe it's like a little bit more um fancy olive oil they i don't know they it's been like something's inside the bottle whatever infusing it with other flavors and whatnot i like um, to uh i like to put a little uh parmesan cheese like yum. on another plate and then go oil and then cheese and then pow you know mm. like that yeah that sounds great yeah, yeah, yeah. A little pick me up. All right, man. So you already hinted. You already gave me a little taste of what the main course is going to be like. <laughs> a but... weird meal at this point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these never make any sense. It's like it's uh, the people that actually have like a theme that they carry all the way through. Those are usually the more boring meals. So I like these weird. Oh, meals, good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this... so main dish. You mentioned sushi. What uh, what kind of sushi are we talking about? Um, I love. I mean. I... I pr- pretty much, uh, I like salmon, yellowtail, or samachi, they call it, um, tuna. But I, And I mean just like, just plain. I mean like rice, I mean traditional sushi, like rice with a piece of fish on it. I don't want this, I don't want it to look like the chef like put the ingredients in his mouth and like chewed it up <laughs> and spit it on my plate. And then was like, this is, you know, and then like squirts a bunch of sauce and like, this is like, this is sushi. But that's apparently what some people, if you don't give them that, they're like, I don't, I don't like sushi. Like, I love sushi. They say they love sushi and then they go out to eat and they order the thing that's like deep fried, smothered in nonsense. <laughs> looks like things have happened. You're like, is that sushi? You're like, I love sushi. I'm like, do you? And then I serve that and then I see what I'm mean. like, ew, like, you're just going to eat the fish. I'm like, that's what sushi is. Like, I mean, that's kind of the point. <laughs> I think they so, need a name for that. So there's like there's like Mexican food that's like authentic, but then here in Texas we have Tex Mex, and Tex-Mex, it's like you right. know what you're getting, right? So it's like to me, I, I to your point, I think like rolls and stuff like that. I think that can be delicious, but yeah, it needs a different name than just. But sushi. I will admit, if you go, it, it's kind of like you have to go to the right place. So like, there's I am also kind of picky. I'll probably say I'm a small snushi snushi snob, a sushi snob because <laughs> I think the reason you have to do all that slather sauce is to cover up the fact that it's probably not very good fish mm. um so like if you go somewhere where the fish is like really quality you don't need to put sauce on. like putting it almost like how people get upset when you put i guess like sauce on a steak they're like no the steak is the point 
But like, if it's not a very good steak, yeah, you probably would want to put sauce on it. Hundred percent, hundred percent. All right, so we've got some good sushi, but what are you gonna pair that with? Are you like a wasabi? Are you a you a soy? wasabi? Yeah, yeah. I, I wanna, I wanna cry. I would like, I need to like have a moment where I'm like, oh man, like, like people are like, you're, what are you doing to yourself? I'm like, that's the point. Like, you gotta have at least. At least one of those, you know, one clear the you, sinuses. Where you accidentally breathe out too heavily uh, out of your nose and it just, mm. oh. It sounds so good. I'm Now I'm craving sushi. <laughs> I'm kind I'm of also always reasoning, craving sushi. Maybe a app- good appetizer maybe would have been like a cheese pizza. <laughs> as long as I'm just all over the place. I would have started with a small personal pizza and then ended with sushi. A small personal, I mean, you could still go back. So we're, we're going to get a small personal pizza. Uh, or just like or just can we just get a pizza for the table also like we're gonna get sushi and then it's one of those things you check around like would anybody have a slice like if we got a pizza would anybody also have a slice like i'm kind of now thinking like as long as this restaurant serves everything and also does it well so it's like uh not just a cheesecake factory it's like actually good at doing everything um you know i'm down with we could we could play around here so something i've always subscribed to is the idea that nobody will say no to just a, a good cheese pizza like like yeah. when you say pizza for the table, like that's what I always immediately think of. It's like if you just get a good cheese pizza, it's kind of safe and everybody will eat that. But this is your fantasy restaurant, so cheese what pizza. goes on? It's just cheese pizza. There you are. Yeah, I'm a I'm a purist. But it's if it's a good cheese pizza, I mean you can serve cheese pizza. But I'm kind of yeah. Um, I've come around though. I mean there are pizzas that I I can appreciate when it's got toppings. I mean like mushrooms. I think mushrooms are a great topping on pizza. Uh, mushrooms black olives that sounds also good oh yeah for sure so are you a thin crust thick crust you're in thin, chicago so you know it's like everybody crust. outside says deep dish right yeah no it's i think i've deep dish maybe once a year with somebody from out of town who thinks that that's what they need to do um <laughs> once made the mistake in portland oregon of going we went to a deep dish restaurant um and then it was one of the it actually we had like I was like I'm sorry like I like we had to send it back basically and that like I'm like that's one of that's like what fools we were getting deep dish outside of Chicago I'm like what is, like how did that not cross our mind sooner so yeah, yeah fair enough so but not break. deep dish don't yeah it's thin crust it's you know New York style oh there you are it's almost what I would just call you know pizza just yeah. you know regular pizza I don't know what what uh, what comes after that but like then there's Detroit style pizza. It's like this puff, puffy, doughy. It's kind of doughy and puffy, but it's not deep dish. And also, it's usually like baked in a in a square. And this also the slices are square. Um, I'm not I'm not saying that that's what I'm craving, but it's just like, that's another style that I know. I know. think I heard of like a, a Chicago bar style where they cut it into little squares. Is that is that a thing? Could be. And then there's Neapolitan. So I don't even really know. Yeah, um, yeah. there's a lot of variety. But just if it's good, yeah, I want to just be good, good and like good sauce, good just you know cheese on it. The dough is good, just like and then you don't really need to do anything else to it if it's already good. All right. Well, so normally at this point, I'm going to ask you what sides you want to go with your main dish, but I, you know, I was do gonna... some vegetables. Okay. Okay. What kind? Um, we're talking like steamed vegetables. We're talking. Are you going to deep fry some asparagus? What are you doing? Oh, we could just do roasted or ste- I mean, steamed if I'm if I'm I don't know many places that are doing steamed vegetables, really. I mean, that does I would happily. That's how I would probably make it just again, being very basic. But um, at a restaurant, I mean, you know, grilled asparagus sounds pretty good or um, but it's got to be really thin asparagus. Um, you know, sometimes they give you the stocks that are it's kind of like the the what is it? honeydew when they put like growth bad honeydew in a fruit bowl and they're like you know <laughs> it's just filler fruit this is filler asparagus so like yeah. it's good asparagus good broccoli good uh cauliflower is good um i had some corn yesterday i'm not normally a corn person but it is the time of season so I'm, i was like yeah i guess corn's appropriate it's august um, <laughs> okay can't i shouldn't complain they're like this was the seasonal vegetable I'm like that makes sense yeah for sure for sure okay well, I mean that sounds like a, a fairly like well, surprised. yeah, a fairly well-rounded <laughs> meal. But um, arguably the most important part, right here at the end, dessert. What are you gonna? Ice what are you cream. gonna to close it? Ice cream. Ice cream. I will never say no to ice cream. <laughs> and in fact, I <laughs> ate some like twenty minutes ago. So yeah, love ice cream. I can't keep it in the house because it won't keep. 
I just have, well, I will just eat it all. So yeah. I just love I, ice cream. I, I do like the little pints, like the little bitty guys. And I'll like relegate myself to like two per grocery store trip. So it's like, you know, it's sort yeah, of like the, forced. The shame control. with the, the, yeah, the pints though is supposedly they are four, four servings in one of those, supposedly, <laughs> allegedly. Um, but uh, so I, I, so it's almost like, then I'll just be like, what's like, I'm like, so I'm just supposed to have like two spoonfuls and put it back. It's like, I don't, but, yeah. yeah. I just do so, what my heart tells me to do. I don't read the label. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So what flavor of ice cream? Is, are we talking about just anything or? Um, no, I don't think I would have anything. I, I am confident as much as I love ice cream, there are probably flavors that I'm just going to, I might like try it. Just be like, yeah, I like it was cold and creamy, but like, I don't really need this. I mean, mint chip can't go with mint chip. I think mint, like a mint Oreo. If I was going to go to Dairy Queen, I'll get a mint Oreo blizzard. Um, when I was, or like a, a cold stone, you know, they used to like mash all this stuff. Oh into, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. That's a good time. Um, but yeah, cookies and cream, mint. So combine the two, have a good time. I don't even happily have a good just vanilla. Sometimes, sometimes just like a nice cleansing palette of vanilla or palette cleansing dose of vanilla sounds really good. Maybe a little yeah. or strawberry. Again, like I, I, I yeah, I could, I could bop around. This is tough. Almost you just take me to a buffet. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I, I, I never mind a good buffet as long as like there's enough good variety to choose from. I enjoy trying everything. Gotcha. So it's like a little uh, little Baskin Robbins cart pulls up, and you just yeah, you just pick whatever you want off of it. Yeah, I mean, preferably, I I would like to. I like I like going to like those more um, like local chains or even a national chain, but there's only like one or two in a city as opposed to. But I'll have that. I would have Baskin Robbins. I mean, who are we kidding? I already <laughs> name dropped Jerry Queen, so clearly. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have high standard when I was going to say you put the bar down here so exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't even know if Dairy Queen is considered ice cream or if it's more like um, uh, you know whatever that is soft serve slot machine yeah a slot machine yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right slot well, machine ice cream yeah gamble let me, ice cream uh, I don't know let me read back your order and uh, see if I get to you know because the you know, I don't want to mess up. I don't want, you know, I will blame Thank the you. kitchen, obviously. Those if I servers who think they're going to, any server who goes, no, 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 I got it. You're like, are you sure you don't want to maybe just like, you know, write it down? Because then it comes out and it's wrong and I'm like, ah. <laughs> or they miss something or anyway. Let's hear it back. I'm excited about this. All right. All right. So we're going to do a water. We're going to do, since Ooh. this is fancy, we're going to do some sparkling water. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's not LaCroix. It's not out of the can. So there's no, it's guilt free, right? No, we're doing it off a of soda stream. Right? Oh, so, no, no, no. Yeah. That's gross. No, I don't want no soda water out the <laughs> down, the little the squirt gun. No, no. We, we're going to get a bottle. We'll get it. We'll get a nice bottle. Oh, you're going to do a bottle? I was going to say oh, yeah. it's like bespoke fruit infused sparkling water. Mm. No? I don't know. No, I mean, or if really good still water in a bottle, there's pan of water. It's this big glass bottle. That, okay. That's good water. Some right. nice Panna Natural Spring water. Panna Natural Spring, it is. Yeah. And, uh, I'll, I'll check at the back. I know they have it back there, so it's definitely good. Good. Thank you. For our appetizer, we're going to do a thin crust cheese pizza, mm -hmm. New York yes. style. Yes. And it's just going to be perfect, just the oh. right amount. Not so hot that it like, <sighs> like neutralizes the roof of your mouth. Oh, but no, it's... that's fine. <laughs> if my mouth doesn't get a little bit burned, then it, it, it wasn't served to me soon enough. How about every slice you pick up is perfect temperature somehow? That'd be amazing. Yeah, pizza has a very short half-life. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It it's... turns into something else. Not to say that something else is bad. And then, and, but and then it's, it's different. better. And then you give it some time. The next day, you can reheat it. But really, pizza is best like, within minutes out of the oven. <laughs> okay. And then uh, we're going to have an arugula, arugula salad. We're Yum. also going to have some fresh baked egg bread. Now, it's coming out hot. So mind your fingers. There's going to be a little knife there. You cut it yourself. Okay. Uh, and we're going to have some olive oil. I'm going to have a little Parmesan cheese on the side just in case. Okay. Like, I mean, you know, get wild. Um, and then I'll have some olive oil with a little bit of balsamic right in the middle. I love that too. Okay. That's uh, the seven layer. For me, then we're going to do the I'm, sushi. So we're doing... I hope same. I saved room. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Nobody ever gets full in a fantasy restaurant. That's part of its allure. Oh, oh good. Okay. Uh, you got salmon. You've got yellowtail. We're going to have wasabi. Do you do soy along with it? 
So uh, I know it's uncouth uh, at a proper Japanese restaurant, but I will uh, I'll do like a little bit of soy sauce and then I, I stir in the wasabi and make it like right. a little paste thing. But uh, I also will just eat. I can also just do just straight wasabi and plain plain piece of sushi. I mean, if it's good enough, I should be able to eat it without soy sauce. Wow, you are a purist. I dig it. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then we're going to have vegetables on the side. It's going to be grilled asparagus, some broccoli. We're going to have some corn. Apparently, yeah, why not? So yeah. whatever, whatever maybe, seasonable. Maybe a, maybe a fruit salad. I, you know, let's get some water. As long as it's this season, we'll do some watermelon, some berries. I'm... All right, rock and roll. Now we're gonna cap it off. Uh, dessert wise, we're gonna do ice cream. So we're gonna have a mm. medley. I would say a smorgasbord. Oh, oh, yes, some mint Oreo. Uh, I'm thinking French vanilla, right? With like some Yum. good vanilla bite. Yeah, yeah. And some strawberry. You talked about that as well. And then I guess anything else that you concoct in your brain he will reach inside and it will just magically appear for you uh as you think of it you uh the, you happy the, with that orders oh, that sound correct this is a very more more than satisfactory meal excellent excellent to well, be thank so you. fortunate thank you for joining me in the fancy restaurant today thank you for for hosting me that was, <laughs> that was delicious I'm, and i'm still not full i we could go for we could go for a, a bang bang do it all over again from the top yeah, absolutely. Let's, uh, let's keep trying. That's one of my life's goals. I want to do one of those eating contests. Where I've done have one like a challenge one time. I did a uh, cake eating contest like with a team, and it oh, was miserable. I don't know about that. I don't know if I it's want to miserable. do a dessert one. I would do like you know they've got like those like it's a giant sandwich or uh, you know some something where it's got. But the problem, like, there's one around the corner that does a burger one. But the problem is you also have to eat, like, two pounds of fries. And I'm like, I don't want to eat two pounds of fries. Um, <laughs> right? Just add an extra pound to the hamburger, call it a day. Yeah, I'm like, I'll do two of the burgers, no fries. But, I mean, it's, um, you know, the challenge is set. So I'll probably never actually do it. But I always, that's how I can gauge sometimes is, like, I'll, after a meal, I'll be like, I could still, I'm like, I think I could have done the challenge. 